Hey guys, Mr. B here again. Today we're going to be working on the soda can calorimetry or the soda can calorimeter lab uh, that I've put online now. Uh, so there's a few things that you're going to need to be able to do this experiment or to do this lab at home. So some of you may not have the stuff, in which case I'm actually going to do the lab for you. Um, if you do this at home, you'll have to make some slight adjustments, some slight changes, uh, because you probably won't have all of the instruments and stuff that you might need. Uh, but minimum, what you need to be able to do this, to at least see it, is a soda can. So you should have those around. Um, and you're also going to need some chips. I, I use Doritos. Doritos are pretty good. Uh, and then you're going to have to have some way of suspending or hanging this over top of something. Uh, the way that we do it in the lab is we use a stirring rod. Let me get down so you can see me here. You use a stirring rod, put it through the tab on top. Okay, so the tab on top is very important for this. And then we're just going to use our ring stand and put it like that. But any way that you can jerry rig something to hold it up uh, just a couple inches uh, because we're going to actually be burning a Dorito underneath of this. Uh, the other thing you're going to need if you're doing this at home and want to do the calculations, you're going to need some way of determining the mass of your substance. So I have our balances. I've got a balance here that I'm going to be using. Um, but at home, maybe you have like a kitchen scale or something. Uh, that should be able to do the trick. Uh, it'll probably measure it in ounces or pounds. Uh, you'll have to look online for the conversion factor and just convert those uh, pounds, ounces to grams if possible. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is a thermometer. Okay, so uh, here in the lab we have uh, temperature probes as well as the actual thermometers. The uh, better ones to use are going to be the thermometers. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to explain what's going to happen and then I'll make another couple videos uh, actually doing it. So what you're going to do if you're doing this at home, you're going to take your can, you're going to take your um, chip, and you're going to have to take some masses here. So uh, on the uh, paper, it has a list of all of the data that you have, the data that you need. So we're going to have to dry the soda can to start with. So I'll mask that. Uh, you're going to add approximately 100 milliliters of water. You may not have a graduated cylinder at home, but guess what? The actual, the exact volume doesn't matter. What does matter is the mass. So uh, I'm going to get about 100 milliliters of water, put that in there, and then I'm going to mass it again, okay? Because we don't actually want the volume, we want the mass, the grams of water. So subtract the two numbers and then you'll get the mass that you have. So you don't need a graduated cylinder to do this. Okay, so after that, next thing we need is the mass of the uh, clip, the chip, and I have a, a watch glass. You don't have to have this, uh, but it would be a good idea to have something underneath. Uh, so you're gonna go through, get your bag, get your chip. Okay. I have the spicy sweet chili chips. They have a tendency of working pretty well. And pick a good size, a full chip. Okay, we're just going to be dealing with one. I'll eat these later. Okay, and we're going to have our chip. We're going to have the surface that we're dealing with. And then uh, this usually works better. They burn better if they are standing upright. So I also use a paper clip. And this is where it takes a little bit of uh, engineering, some ingenuity here. Uh, you're going to be bending this so that you can stand the chip upright. So I'll show you. I'll give you some tips with that later on. Anyways, you're going to take all of those things mass it, okay, write that down, and then you're ready to actually do your experiment after, of course, you take the temperature of your water. So you've got your can with your water, you're going to take the temperature of it, that's going to be the initial temperature. Remember the whole point of calorimetry experiments is to determine exactly how much energy this substance has. What we're going to do is we're actually going to ignite this we're going to release the, the energy that the bonds in these molecules have, this chip has, and that energy is hopefully going to transfer to the water inside this can. And we're going to use our thermometer. We're going to measure exactly how much energy was transferred. And then we can use our equation Q equals MC delta T to figure out exactly what Q is, how much heat is actually transferred. Now, I will say this is not super effective way of capturing this, but it's a fun one that we can do. 
Uh, in fact, some of the post-lab questions that you've got here deal with why is this not the best uh, way of doing it. Um, so with that, that's sort of the, the groundwork. Now I'm going to have little uh, clips and, and show you each part uh, as, I, as I step through uh, each of those. All right, here's the measurements we're going to be taking. First, the initial soda can mass. Then we're going to take the mass after we add the actual water itself. That's going to be both in grams. We're going to mass the chip, so that one chip, as well as the paper clip. And in my case, I'm going to add the uh, watch glass, the glass piece. Then we're going to take the temperature of the water to begin with. We're going to actually do the burning of the chip. And we're going to measure the final temperature, so how much the temperature is increased. And then lastly, we're going to measure whatever's left over because not all of the chip is actually going to burn. to use the same paper clip in this case. But what I do is I will bend it apart like this, okay? And then I'll spread the smaller one out. That's gonna be like the base, okay? And then if I just sort of lift this up, okay? It's this sort of three-dimensional stand, okay? Then whenever I do this, the chip should be able to somehow just sort of nestle inside of there. Look at that. Just like so. Okay. And now comes the fun part, the part where we actually get to burn the chip. So make sure that whenever you have yours, you somehow suspend it right directly over the chip. We want to try and make sure that uh, all of the energy that we're going to get from burning this Dorito goes into the can itself. And what you're going to do, I'm going to use a lighter. I'm just going to light this Dorito. And as it's burning, just use your, use your, stirring, your uh, thermometer to stir a little bit and make sure that all that heat is distributed. Uh, and we're going to continue. This is going to burn as much as we can. But we're going to keep an eye on the temperature, and we're going to record the highest temperature that it gets. Make sure that when you're doing this that you're not touching the bottom of the can or the sides because we want the temperature of the water, not the can itself. Okay, here we go. And you will not experience this if you're just watching, uh, but if you do this at home, you will be able to experience the lovely smell that these Doritos give off. So I will say uh, Doritos are actually pretty good fire starters. So if you're in the woods and you need to make a fire, you don't have any dry sticks or so, you can actually use a Dorito or a bunch of Doritos to start this fire. So we're just going to let that go and stir. So you'll notice the temperature has already uh, hopped up. And you'll notice the can is also getting some soot. Oh, time to go. Now you will notice that not all of my chip is actually going to burn. Uh, some of the chip will be left over after the fact. And that's why we're actually going to be measuring the mass afterwards. It's because since not all the chip is uh, going to burn, we're not going to include the entire mass of the chip. Mmm, yum. So just uh, taking a look at my temperature, it's already over 40 degrees. All right, so it looks like that's it for my chip. Uh, I'm going to continue to stir, and I'm going to take a look at my temperature. 
So right now it's looking at 42.2-ish. I don't know that it's gonna heat up much more than that. We might have reached our max temperature. I don't know, no, that's more like 42.7 or eight now. I'm gonna keep stirring a little bit. Sometimes that heat needs to be distributed. Remember we're recording the max temperature that it reaches. One, two, ah, uh, looks like it's starting to go down a little bit. So we're gonna keep that 42.7 number. Okay. All right, all that's left now is to mass the leftover stuff. So one thing you may notice whenever you're doing this is the can, when it's left over, does have this little layer of soot on it. That's essentially just carbon that's left over from the combustion. So sometimes the ash and such is left over. So if you were to do this two trials like the paper says to, you can feel free to. I'm just going to do the one trial. But if you do, make sure that you clean off this soot ahead of time. You're going to have to remass it. You're going to have to take these initial temperatures and, and mass all over again with the second trial. Uh, the leftover water, it's just water that's been heated up so it can go down the drain. And your leftover chip, I guess you could eat it if you want, but I do not recommend it. It would not taste very good. It's like eating a campfire, like what's left over in a campfire. Um, but feel free to try it if you want, otherwise it just goes in the trash. I'd love to see how you guys did this. So if you do this experiment, uh, take some pictures, take some videos of you doing it and uh, either submit those, you can email them to me. I'd love to see how you guys did this at home. Um, but uh, hopefully you get something out of this, right? You figure out just how many calories, how many joules of energy are actually in these chips, right? These spicy sweet chili chips, right? And how much of that energy is actually stored in this? Like this has tons and tons of energy in it that we just don't even realize, right? We just stick it in our bodies and use it, I guess. So keep an eye out for the uh, other activities. Make sure if you have any questions, you let me know uh, through Remind or email. Uh, but good luck. Have fun.